ladies and gents. Time now for magazine reading. Love is a cockroach. A zoo in the US is offering the romantics of the world the chance to have a Madagascan hissing cockroach named after their valentine. Yes. Yes, you heard right. You don't always have the right words, but you can still give them goosebumps. <laughs> oh, name the roach your favourite Valentine because roaches are forever. Right. Feel fab in five. Five ways to celebrate Valentine's Day. I'll give you five, not two. Ridiculous. Um, show gratitude. Um, practice self-care relax with a movie spend time with your loved ones how many people have you got in this relationship Um, and then bake with love oh my goodness I think I am actually starting to lose the will now I know many people who, who do celebrate Valentine's and fair enough they've got very nice partners but <laughs> the love here we go sexy suggestions uh, now this woman I think it is um, she says that she's um, made some uh, well she's come up with some ideas for her and her husband to kickstart their sex life because they haven't had it for a few years. Nothing embarrassing about that. Nothing embarrassing about writing in to a magazine to talk about these things. <laughs> right. Um, but um, she said she's a little bit too shy to talk about anything other than the suggestion of bondage. My sister abused her fella, so I stole him from her. Teacher admits I poisoned my hubby with a toxic smoothie. I gave my dying friend the final day to remember. Excellent. We might have something to do with the food that's on here. I'm 45, but never had a date. My daughter's death bought me happiness. It's just getting too exciting here. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. No, I missed one. Uh, I hired a hitman to kill my husband. So what we're going to do to lighten the mood is we're going to have to ask Holly again. Oh, God, it's like such a trauma. Um, but I'm, I'm going to do it because I'm, I'm just that kind of person. Um, we'll say, dear Holly... Um, my ex and I are both in our 40s and our relationship was very complicated. We both have kids and a number of ex-partners and it was very difficult at times for us to be happy. What? We live in a small town where gossip is rife and people would make up things and try and cause problems between us. (laughs) Oh, gosh. In the end, we both agreed to split. I think you probably should have done that a long time ago, darling. Whoever it is that's talking about this. Bloody ridiculous. Um, When we decided to split, I felt it was the best thing for us, but I do still really like him. You like him? (laughs) Might have been the problem, love. Because genuinely, when you're, well, generally, when you're in a relationship, you should love them, not just like them. So I'm giving my advice too soon already. Now I'm stuck because I don't know whether to move on or stick around and wait and hope that he will change his mind. What do you mean? You're saying that you only like him. Oh, people keep saying the best way to get over someone is to use the no contact rule. What is that? Please, could somebody tell me in the comments what that is? Because basically, if you if you split up with somebody, then it's not a rule. You 
just don't have contact with them. It's, I'm losing my mind. Um, we didn't split on bad terms and just seem silly to ignore him. Um, but I don't want to pester him and push him further away from me. What should I do? What on earth are you talking about, you absolute mare? You don't like him. You didn't like each other. And now you're moaning about... Well, I don't know whether or not to be, be in contact with him. I'm sod off. Now, don't be forgetting to like, subscribe, it's free, and also comment, it's absolutely brilliant. Thank you.